Hi everyone, and welcome to another Windsor Kids Preschool lesson. I'm Patsy, and I'm so excited to spend some time with you today learning more about God. Last week, Dylan taught us all about talking to God, and we started with how we can thank Him anytime and for anything. Today, we're going to read the story of Daniel in the lion's den. And we're going to talk all about how we can ask God for help anytime we want. We have a special name for when we talk to God. Does anyone know what that is? That's right. It's prayer. Whenever we pray, we can ask God to help us through difficult times. We can talk to him about exciting things. We can share our life with him. First, though, Let's do our memory verse. Let's say it and do the actions together. Never stop praying. 1 Thessalonians 5 17. Should we do that again? Never stop praying. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Awesome. It's so good to remember our scriptures, isn't it? And now, we're going to go into one of my favorite things, worship time. So pause this video, grab some instruments, do some stretches, and then press play again. And let's use our wonderful singing voices to worship God together. Yeah. 
everyone are you tired from all that dancing b-i-b-l-e spells the word bible the bible is a book that god wrote and everything in the bible is that's right everything in the bible is true today's story comes to us right from the bible we can talk at any time we want. And we have a special name for when we talk to God. That name is prayer. Daniel was a man who loved talking to God. Three times a day, every day, he would sit in his house by the window and pray to God. Daniel would thank God. He would ask God for help. He would tell God about his life. One day, the king made a law that said that no one could pray to God. They could only pray to the king. Well, Daniel kept praying to God three times a day, every day by his window. He prayed for help. He prayed thanks. He talked to God. Daniel was arrested for breaking the law. And the punishment for praying to God was to be thrown into a den of lions. Can you guys roar like a big scary lion? Can't he? Can we try that again? Whoa, that was some scary lions there. Daniel was thrown into a den with really hungry lions. The people closed up the hole so Daniel couldn't escape. It was very scary. But Daniel didn't lose hope. Even though the lions were roaring all around him, rawr, 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 Daniel prayed to God for help. And God answered his prayer. Do you know what God did? God took those scary, hungry lions with their big open mouths and God shut the mouths of the lions so they couldn't eat Daniel. Wow. The next day, the hole was open to the den of lions. And what do you know? There was Daniel sitting and the lions were sitting all around him. And that's when the king realized that Daniel had prayed to God and God had answered him. And that was the day that the king started believing in God. The story of Daniel teaches us that we can talk to God anytime we want. We can talk to him by praying. Whenever we pray, we can ask God to help us. We can say thank you. We can talk to him. We can ask for his advice. Let's watch another video all about Daniel and the lion's den 
And when you hear those lions roar, roar along with them. Now I have some questions for you. Don't worry if you don't want to answer them now. They're all on the teaching notes, so your family can look at them anytime you want. So, what would Daniel do by his window three times a day? That's right, he would pray. What law did Daniel break? The king said that no one could pray to anyone but him, but Daniel still prayed to God. What is it called when we talk to God? Prayer. What are some things that we can ask God to help us with? I know I ask God to help me with my schoolwork, with helping me be patient with my brother or with my dog. I ask him to help me to be kind to other people. I thank him for my mum, for my dad, for my brothers and my sister. I thank him for my dog and cat. And I can thank him because he is God and he's your best friend. Let's say this poem together to help us remember the story. And don't worry, the poem's in your teaching notes too, so you can keep going back to it. Let's do it. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. The lion's den. The lion's den. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den because he prayed to God alone. God sent his angel to the lion's den. The lion's den. The lion's den. God sent his angel to the lion's den and he shut the lion's mouths. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you love us. Thank you for sending Jesus, your son, to earth for us. Thank you for being there for us and thank you for helping us. Thank you that you love us and watch over us. And thank you that we can talk to you anytime we want. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Well, now it's time for craft and coloring in. Your family will help you to do your lion crafts and we'd love to see some photos or videos or pictures of your finished craft. And we look forward to seeing you next week. But until then, have a fun week. Bye.